In this video, we're going to take a look at how to add an assignment to your score sheet. This would be applicable to all grades. You're going to, you could do this the same. Again, you're going to start at concord.powerschool.com backslash teachers. It may open you up to this SIS page. Find Power Teacher Pro here on the top left. It'll open you up to our new dashboard. It looks a little different, but it's gonna operate very similar to what we're used to. To add an assignment to our gradebook or our score sheet, you would simply be in the course that you're looking for, just like before. It looks a little different, but the drop down is still up here at the top. Over here, I have my plus sign like I did before. I'm gonna to go to assignment. This looks a little different, but all the same information is here. If you remember before, we had kind of two columns that you had to input information to. Now it's just kind of a straight down as we go. So we wanna select the class. It's defaulted to whatever class was in this dropdown. But if I wanna add an assignment, the same assignment to multiple classes, I still have this dropdown that I can put that in there if I choose to. I need to give it a name. I need to set a category if I'm using categories. So especially at the elementary level, you will want to make sure that you select a category. Secondary teachers, same thing, if you are using category and not um, total points. Remember that when you choose a category, make sure it is a category you have already set up in your traditional grade calculation. If you're not sure how to set up in grade calculation, there is a separate video for that. Make sure you select the category if you're using categories. You can put in a due date right here, you can put in your points right here as well. Here's your entry points, if how much the points are worth. Make sure you put count in final grade, it's default on, and you can give it a description right here too. You'll notice what's missing is adding the online feature, putting in a Google Doc or anything like that, because you won't do that here. You'll do that on Google Classroom. You can also tell it which students you want it to have, and once you're done, you can simply click save and close and it will go into your score sheet. To find your score sheet, you will simply come over here to grading and score sheet. Click on that and it's gonna look very similar to what you had before. You also have your assignment list here like you did all under grading. I don't have any assignments because this isn't my class so I'm not going to add anything, but this would be my assignments list grading, I would go to my score sheet and it will look very similar to the way my score sheet used to look. 